another video. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Jess, welcome. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my recent Amazon purchases. Some of these purchases I think would make really great gift ideas. So you could take some of these and purchase them for someone that you love or someone that you know would really appreciate them. So if you guys wanna see what I got, then just keep on watching. So the first item that I have to share with you guys is actually this set of headbands. I have been absolutely obsessed with wearing headbands lately. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. It's this little green one. And this set was $10 and it came with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 headbands. So 10 headbands for about $10, that's almost a dollar each, not bad at all. And the set that I got in particular is the one that comes with the green, this like wine red color, this plum colored one, a blue one, a navy blue one, a white one, a beige one, a pink one, a brown one, and a black one. I don't know what it is about the fall season, but I just wanna throw in some headbands this time of year. I feel like they're so cute. They're giving Blair Waldorf, they're giving Gossip Girl, and I fucking love Gossip Girl, and I just love that whole like aesthetic and so I was like, you know what? Why not just get some headbands for the fall winter season and just alternate them and make them match my outfits? Like how cute would that be? So that's a really great gift idea for any girly or guy out there who loves a good headband, loves a good hair accessory. These are super cute and they can always like mix and match them with so many different outfits. These next items would make really great gift ideas for any book lovers in your life or if you yourself are a book lover. These are great things to add to your like little collection, girly. Let me tell you. Okay, so first and foremost, are these bookends. These bookends are so sleek, modern, minimal, and it is just this pair of acrylic bookends. I love these because it kind of looks like your books are just kind of floating and being held up by nothing. And because they are so thin, you could add any decorative thing that you want to the end of this, and it will look like whatever that thing is, is what is holding your books up. But it's really these clear bookends. I have I wanna say this is like my third pair because I just love them so, so much. These are great and they will not clash with any aesthetic that you have. This is like universal and such a good gift idea. Next is this reading light. This clips onto any book that you're reading and it has a button right here in the back and it has three different light settings. So the first one is this one, which is a combination of warm and cool lighting and it's also the brightest. And then if you click it again, it has all cool lighting. And then if you press it the third time, it is all warm lighting. And if you actually hold down the button, it will adjust the brightness. So you can make it really, really bright or you can make it really dim. So I do like that. It's a very strong light. The first time that I turned this on, it was pitch black in my room. I turned it on and I was like, holy crap, that is really, really strong. But then I just put it to the warm light setting, which is my personal favorite. And I just put it on the dimmest setting and it was absolutely perfect. It wasn't bothering my husband at all who was sleeping next to me. He could sleep with this just fine. So I do really like this and it's like nice and flexible. So you could just like make it really small, like throw it in your purse or if you're traveling, this can definitely like go with you. And it is rechargeable. So you don't have to worry about adding batteries to it and it does come with the charging cable so this is really great next are these little like sticky note bookmark looking things and I bought these to annotate my books this is something that I just started doing recently in fact I just started doing it with this series that I'm currently reading which I will share next because it is one of my recent Amazon purchases and I'm absolutely obsessed with it and so I got these annotation tabs I believe this is about 2600 of them and I think I paid like six to seven dollars for these which is not bad at all I've already used up so many of them and these these are great for annotating or if you just like to have little sticky notes for like your work or your planner, your agenda, anything like that. These are really great. They come in so many different color combinations. I just went with this one because I really liked it. This is such a great buy, super affordable, a really great stocking stuffer idea, but these are really nice and I cannot wait to just like build to my collection and get more. So like I was saying, I just started annotating my books as of recently and that started when I started reading this book series. So you guys, I have never in my life read fantasy up until recently and I don't know why I haven't read that genre sooner. It is so good and who better than to pop my fantasy genre reading cherry than Mrs. Sarah J Mass with her Akatar series. I am currently on the third book and I have loved every single moment of this book series, you guys. I don't even want it to end. Like the fact that I'm already halfway through is so heartbreaking because I don't want to finish. But I started, of course, with the first book. And for someone who has never read fantasy before, it was a little bit difficult for me to like get through it just because it's a lot more slower paced than what I'm normally used to reading. I started reading books like Colleen Hoover, which are very fast paced. They're very predictable. So you can kind of just like speed through it. You can just kind of like read one after another. 
but because this is a longer series and there's so many characters there's so much world building they're so descriptive with each of their like settings and it's just a lot so that was kind of what was happening in the first book it was very different and so for that reason it was a little bit slower for me to get through it but once i did and I moved on to the next book. I was so invested in this series and wanted to know what was gonna happen next that I sped through this book. Like I felt like I read it so fast and that's funny because I genuinely felt like I was trying to savor every moment of it and I got through it in about the same time that it took me to read this. I read this one which is like double the size. And just look at how many tabs are on this book because I just genuinely loved it so, so much. I could do a whole dedicated video on this series, you guys. I don't wanna like talk your ear off about this if you don't give a shit at all about books or like fantasy, but I love this book. If I had to rank them, this is going above this one because this one is superior and Resand is the love of my life and I just am obsessed. But anyways, I digress. So I did get this as a book set. I didn't buy each book individually. I did buy the first one and then once I was like about halfway through, I realized that I wanted to read the entire thing. So I did buy the book set on Amazon. And so if you know someone who likes a particular series or wants to get into a particular series, book sets are such a good idea and they're so much cheaper than buying each book individually. So I highly recommend book sets on Amazon. This next item is a little random, but it is my computer desk chair. And I really like this desk chair because it has these adjustable armrests. I knew that I wanted armrests because I didn't have any before. And when I would edit on my computer, my arms would just be like floating and they would get so tired. And now I can actually like prop my arms down and like get my work done, you know? And I like that these have the adjustable armrests because my office is pretty small. Like the space between this desk and this desk is actually pretty tight. And if I had a chair that had the armrests that were permanently placed like this, I couldn't slide it underneath either desk. It kind of has to just be floating in the middle of the room and that would take up so much space. So I do like that these are adjustable and I can slide it under my desk perfectly. And it also does have a height adjustment. I can adjust it to go up or to go down. It also tilts back and forth. And it is such a good deal. So much better than that little cheap one that I got from Goodwill like years ago. It was falling apart and that's what prompted me to get a new desk chair. I also got all this stuff on Black Friday. I wanted to post that video, but I just got so caught up and didn't have enough time to film it. That was actually the week that I missed an upload. That's when I wanted to post all this stuff. But there's nothing that I can do about it now. I can't go back in time and do better time management so I can only do better from here on out. That is everything that I've gotten on Amazon and some potential gift ideas, question mark. I don't know, but I just wanted to share with you guys everything that I've gotten recently because why the fuck not? So that wraps up the end of this video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification that way you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.